hello hello everyone welcome back to the channel miss coffee here and today we're back with another artist highlight now this artist highlight is a little bit different because it's in coloring book form and this is actually going to feature 14 different artists artwork so this book is found on amazon i of course will have it linked down below but do keep in mind that anytime i link anything from amazon i am an amazon influencer so when you use the link i will make a small commission so i thank you in advance but this coloring book is what we're here to talk about today. It's a fantasy coloring book by 14 different artists. It's called Melanin Magic. And I am not going to be able to <laughs> pronounce all the artists' names. I have had the pleasure of attending the lives of a few of these artists and speaking with them. Um, I Sorry, I cannot get her name. I'm not going to butcher it. <laughs> but I did get the permission of the the artist here. Uh, I want to say her name is v v Vigala. Maybe I might have butchered that. I am so sorry if I did. Um, I did get her permission to be able to show the book on the channel. I actually got it a while ago, but the way my life is set up, life happened. So we're going to show it today and we're also going to color it in illustration. So for all those adult colorists out there that have been waiting for Miss Coffee to get back into adult coloring, I never really left it. I just, you know, whatever. Anyways, so let's go ahead and get into this and show you what all this book entails. Now, I'm not sure exactly how all this book goes, but it's of course the book's is owned by and it has some beautiful flowers up here at the top when you open it up you get some flowers and it tells you that all copyrights are reserved and it gives you all the illustrators of this book along with the artist that designed the book herself um all these artists are probably over on instagram i have met uh vagala i, I want to say it's vagala i'm sorry if it's not jean Perry. oh geez see i'm already butchering them uh quarantine cora is one of the other artists I remember I've attended a few lives with her in it as well um I won't be able to link all of the artists in, uh, Instagrams down below but just know they are on Instagram um so if you sign artwork that you like oh snap look at that <laughs> that's cool pause the video here if you would like to go take a look at these particular artists it has what social media they are on with their handles. So we have pages seven through 14 for Kiki, pages 15 through 20 for Serena, pages 21 through 26 for Jasmine, pages 27 through 37 for Rex Healy. Sorry if I butchered that. Um, page 25 through 50 for Nana Designs. Um, I have attended a live with her before. She's a really cool artist. Uh, 41 through 48 for Brianna. Vel Valiga. Is it Valigia? No. Vogala. I'm going to say it's Vogala. Vogala is page 49 through 59. I love the way they broke this up. Cornelia, 65 through 70. Philip, um, 59 through 64. Quarantine is 71 through 76. So you know exactly which artist's artwork you're working on. That's really, really cool because as you guys know, artists have different art styles. So they could draw, you could get 70 artists in a room, have them draw the exact same images and you will not get two that are alike. So that's one thing I love about art is that art comes in many different forms and shapes. So I absolutely love that. Uzo, again, I'm sorry if I'm butchering that. It's 77 through 82. We have uh, Adawasi, Adawasa, maybe, 83 through 88. We have Jerry through 89 through 94 and Sleepy Mia through 95 through 102. So you, again, featured artists and their, their what pages their stuff is on is in the front of the book. That is amazing. I love the way that they set that up. And of course, it tells you whether they have a YouTube channel. Uh, this is going to be, I wanna say that's Instagram maybe? Twitter or TikTok and Twitter. This is gonna be Instagram. This has to be Instagram because that's Instagram's logo, I believe. So we have YouTube for Cornelia. We have YouTube, Instagram, uh, TikTok, and Twitter. And that is her handle. And then every one of the artists also has that under their names as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at these pages. Oh my goodness, look at that fairy. Oh my God. And look at the beautiful florals on the side over here. Now I will tell you that if you are going to color in this book, this is a book that I would say is made for color pencils. Um, the reason I say that is because even though there's a blank page on the other side, if you wanted to use markers, you're going to need to put something underneath it because the pages aren't uh, like cardstock. They're like normal printer paper almost, uh, maybe a little bit thicker than that. They are, it is decent 
uh, adult coloring paper, but if you're going to use markers on it, which you guys know I love using markers over color pencils, if I were going to use markers, I would make a photocopy of one of the images, which is what I'm going to be doing anyway because I want to preserve the book. So if you do want to preserve your book, remember you can always print out the pages instead of coloring on them so that you can keep the book for as, as long as the book will hold up. Um, so here's another image we have here with this young lady with the puffs of hair that are tied up in her little unicorn. We have this little witchy girl over here. Now I'm going to be going kind of fast. This is a thick book with three C's, okay? So we're going to go keep going here. We have this beautiful little girl right here, which I believe is the image I'm going to be coloring today. Let me make sure I brought that down so you can see it a little bit better. I want to make sure you can see the whole thing. You need to see all the greatness, okay? So here we go. Kind of reminds me of like a Sailor Moon type character because of the little wand. And you guys know Miss Coffee loves her some Sailor Moon and she loves her some stars and, and the moons and stuff. The astrology stuff is, is it gets me in a good place. So we have this little window seal looks looking thing here. I'm not sure it's like a looking glass maybe where it has like the sun stars and some stairs. We have this beautiful illustration here of this young lady. I love, love, love the hair. I'm not sure if it's braids. I'm going to say it's dreads and not braids because there's nothing that indicates that it's braids. Um, the stars around her and of course she's holding a star. We have the little mushroom lady. Look at her little mushroom friend. Hello, little mushroom friend. And she's holding some vegetables in her hand there. She has the flowers all around. I love the fact that a collective of black artists were able to get together and make this book because it has a little bit of something for everyone. You have florals, you have butterflies, you have um, astrological stuff. Uh, you also have these beautiful women. Look at this young lady here. I want to say this is, it reminds me of Medusa because if you see all the snakes... Now, look, listen, I'm not a snake person, but I love me some Medusa, so y'all already know. Y'all already know. And I'm not sure, like I said, I'm not sure if they're coming out of her hair or if they're just around. I'm going to guess they're coming off her hair because if you look here, there's nothing. And then the scales start, and then here's this little snake here. So we have this Medusa-esque like person. Them side, those, those baby hairs are on point, though. <laughs> they on point. We have this beautiful little cat lady here. Oh, I love her little kitty cat band-aid. Do you see the little kitty cat band-aid? And we have a tiger and a leopard and, yeah, leopard and cheetah. <laughs> Y'all forgive me, I'm slow. And she, of course, has her little bow on with a bell on it. And I love her little ears. We have some more florals. Just to break up the monotony of people, you get the florals and the animals, which I really, really like. Oh, get it, girl. Look at that eyeliner. I love this. So we have butterflies all around with some florals. And we have this beautiful little fairy. Looks like she has on some pearls. I love her ear. I love fairy ears. And then she has the little swirls in her hair. Ooh, we're going to space. Yeah. So we have some planets going all around us in her little space. Look at her little space boost. Go ahead now. Yes. She has a little heart antenna coming up at the top there. And she got her little glasses on. Love the gloves. Love the gloves. And then we have this little mushroom lady here who's got the little snail in her hand. I'm not sure if she's some kind of animal or a creature of some sort. If she's like just queen of the mushrooms or something. Because I'm noticing the spots on her elbows. And of course we have spots on the mushrooms as well. Maybe she's queen of the mushrooms. I don't know. Use your imagination. That's the good thing about art. It's interpretive. <laughs> we have some more beautiful florals here. Which looks like sunflowers. If they're not, write down in the comment section what they are. In inform Miss Coffee. Educate me. <laughs> we have this beautiful little... I want to say it's a fairy. That's a, I've never seen fairy ears, ears like that before. That's really cool. I'm not sure what this is, but now I'm curious. I think these are wings coming off the side because I can tell by the little piece down here. Um, but I'm guessing this is some kind of a sleeve. And she has like a little butterfly on her hand. She has like little antenna. I wonder if that causes her seasonal allergies to act up. I love the afro with her. Yes. You don't ever really see fairies with afros and stuff, so that's really cool to me. You have this beautiful thickum here. Um, I'm not sure if she's a... I think she's a jellyfish. But it, it kind of looks like she... I don't know if she's had on a, a dress or a mermaid tail, but we have a jellyfish here, and I love her. I love the fact that they incorporate people of all sizes in this book. Inclusion is the inclusion for me. All right, so we have the moon and some stars here for you to color something simple. So say if you have a kid like I do, and your kid, you want your kid to join you in coloring, and you don't want them messing up your book, boom, you got something for them. <laughs> 
And we have this beautiful long, young lady here. And I love, love, love her ears. Love the earrings. And she has the sun and the moon on her earrings there. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like a Lady Liberty or what's going on. Because she has like the little spiky crown here. But I love, love, love this. She has like a toga type outfit on. Y'all, this book is thick. We have this beautiful butterfly here. Again, love the ears. Not sure this is like, oh, flower petals. They're flower petals falling down. She has the big, beautiful butterfly wings. Love the chunky hair. Then we have this witch practicing magic with her familiar, which is going to be a cat. Um, the cat's playing with some yarns as she's trying to practice some potions or some uh, spells or something going on there. I love, love, love this one. And for all those folks who also love diamond painting, we got some diamonds you can color. Oh, we got twins here. So we have two adorable little young ladies with the Afro Puff um, ponytails. They're making a little heart here. I love their fluffy dresses. I love all the hearts incorporated in this. And if you look behind them, there's some hearts as well. We have this beautiful cloud person here. She's sitting on a cloud. And then she has a little uh, staff in her hand with the sun on it. Love the things on her hair here. Looks like she has on a hat, maybe a bonnet. And y'all know Miss Coffee's here for the bonnet. We have this beautiful young lady here. I love the braids. I'm learning how to make braids, so this is great for... Uh, coloring books aren't just great for coloring in. If you are an up-and-coming artist or if you're someone who likes to draw... Looking at the way that they do their line work can also help you. Like, this is going to be extremely helpful to me whenever I start trying to make braids on my characters. Because I can see how she made the lines. Instead of me making just X's all the way down. <laughs> I can see how she made the lines so that I can also replicate that and do it in my own way. So that I can learn how to do braids. So I really, really love this image. I'm not sure what she got going on all down here. Like, what kind of outfit she got on. But I'm here for it. I'm just saying. Oh my gosh, these illustrations are amazing, you guys. So we have this here. She looks like she has she's going after some bubbles. And then there's like a ribbon going around her. And her hair is all like all floating all over the place. I'm going to guess she's in water. Love that image. We have beautiful florals here. Take a break from all the people. Get some florals going on. Practice in your shading. Ooh, okay. I see what's going on here. So we got the Afro Puffs here. We have the braids coming, going into the Afro Puffs and coming down as well. But it also looks like they have flowers on them. Uh, we have the, the arrows here. I'm not seeing a bow, but I'm seeing the arrow. So, of course, the bow's got to be somewhere around there. Uh, she has on, like, some armor, it looks like. I'm not sure what's going on behind her because all I can focus on is uh, the ears and the hair. And I'm here for it. I love it. Love, love, love that. Love her necklace. Or she has a couple of necklaces on there. Oh, look at the space girl. And she's got a little kitty. Hi, little kitty. That is so cute. So it looks like they have the moon behind them with some stars. And then we have what looks like Saturn off to the side there. Love the frill of the socks on this one. Oh, my gosh. And it's probably just a frill of her pants because I see the frill up here, too. But uh, I remember church on Sundays. <laughs> that brought back a memory. <laughs> so we also have some... Uh, florals going on on this page and if you're trying to figure out where the page numbers are they're on the back so as to not interrupt the actual coloring page itself so I like the fact that they did that it's the little things that make a coloring book a good coloring book and so we have this one here which we have this young lady she has like the little braids oh, I love how her braids make a heart up here and then she has like a little afro puff back here she is a fairy because I can see her wings it looks like she has a flower costume on and then she has like a bracelet on her arm here I love that one now, I love coloring people oh I love this one I love it so much so we have these two beautiful fairies, different size fairies. Love the inclusion. So we have two different size fairies because beauty comes in all shapes and sizes and they incorporate this into this coloring book, which is what I love to see. So we have this beautiful fairy here and she has on what looks like a kind of like a pants outfit. And then we have this beautiful fairy going on over here and she looks like she has on this cute little short uh like skirt type deal but it looks like it's made out of leaves and she has like some kind of a uh, leaf going around the midsection here when they both have on wings i love her hair and i love the braids on this one so this image is going to be so much fun to color i can't wait to get to it and then we have some more florals going on and then we have this beautiful young lady here 
Oh my God, look at her slay. She didn't come to play, she came to slay. I love this little short dress that she has on and the straps coming down her arms and she has her beautiful butterfly wings with her hair flowing all nice and pretty. She's got a little flower in the hair. Love the simplicity of this image. Not a whole lot to take your attention away from her. Uh, I really, really love images like that because I can get a little overwhelmed sometimes with other stuff. So, ooh, look at that. So it looks like we have a young lady here dancing. She looks like just a normal person. Um, I don't, I'm not seeing the pointy ears, so that's that's the giveaway, and I'm not seeing any wings or anything. I love the long, flowy hair. I love the hair barrette in her hair, uh, the flowers here, and she also has the flowers here. Looks like she has on some either some thigh-high socks maybe um but she also has on some boots as well love the little boots and she has some bangles on her arms nice simplistic images so it has something for different types of uh your coloring level if you're new to coloring this is not a grayscale coloring book um this is just a normal coloring book so for those practicing or wanting to practice like your shading and stuff like that um you get these images like this or if you're new to adult coloring you just want something simple this is this is definitely a great book because you're getting a little bit of everything. And so now we have some seashells to break up the monotony of the people and those florals. We have seashells. This book was very, very well designed. I'm very impressed by this book. So this next one here, we have a beautiful mermaid with her hair flowing in the water. It looks like we have some uh, coral going on down here and we got some fishes going around her. Then we have this beautiful, beautiful fairy here with her long wavy, I'm going to say it's wavy hair. Um, we also have some flowers here at the bottom and some other uh, arrangements as she's sitting on the grass there. Love, love, love that image. Ooh, I love the florals on this one. Something simple for those folks who want something simple and quick to do. You got a little bit of florals there. Ooh, all right, so we looks like we have a butterfly here, and I say butterfly because I do see the wings, I don't see the pointy ear. Love the eyebrows on fleek. We got them baby hairs off to the side. She's showing off her earrings. I love, love, love this image. Nice simplistic images, again, for those folks who are new to adult coloring and don't wanna get overwhelmed by backgrounds. They have something in the book for you as well. This one I'm gonna say is a fairy because she does have the pointy ears, um, and it could be like some other mythical creature. I'm not sure. I just call it fairy because of the ears. I like fairies and those ears. So we're just going to go with that. I'm not sure what's going on in her hair, but I love it. I'm here for it. She has little wings on. She has her little, I'm not sure what that's called when it's like not on your shoulders. Off the shoulder shirt or dress maybe. She has little rings on her hand. So absolutely love that picture. We have some more florals going on here. If I'm going too fast, feel free to speed the video down. If you look in the corner at the top of your screen, on probably the right-hand side, you'll see a little gear. It'll say playback or play speed. If you adjust that up or down, that can make your video go slower or faster. I might sound funny either way, but you'll get the point. So we got some more florals going on here. We got two beautiful young ladies here. I love that staff. Oh, and I love it when they have on these intricate little outfits where you can just add all these different colors to them. I love the outfits here. I love the fact that she has the butterflies going on in her hair. Love the necklace that she has going on. Butterflies over here as well. She's wearing like a corset top with a flowing uh, skirt. Really, really love that. And they're outside somewhere because I see the tree branches on the sides over here. <gasps> oh my God, I love her. So this beautiful goddess has, she has the fairy ears, but I'm not seeing any wings. I'm seeing light shining from behind her. I'm seeing a cross, uh, like a kind of, I don't, it's not cross body. It's a X strap, I guess, some type of strap uh, top she's wearing. Love the arm bracelet. Love the stars in her hair and the feather. And then of course she has the moon and the star. I love the fact that a lot of these artists are doing like these astrological things and the images because I can tell you I'm here for it. So I love the moon and the sun in that one. We have some more florals here. We have this beautiful young lady who's just sitting here. I love the heart necklace. And I love, it looks like, she, I thought she had a romper on for a second, but I can see Mitch Drift showing here. And then she has on some baggier pants. Um, is she a fox? Is that a tail? Like, this is her hair. Like, I thought this was like bush behind her, but this is her hair. Because I can see it coming off. The, she's some kind of animal. Okay, she's some kind of animal. I want to say she's a fox, but her ears are cut off. But she looks like a fox. Is she a fox? Ma'am, excuse Ma'am, are you a fox? Are you a fox? Asking for myself. Wow. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna keep going. 
Ooh, so we have, okay, I'm trying to make sure I'm not skipping a page. It feels like I'm skipping a page. I'm skipping a page. All right, so we have this image here. It looks like she's looking at chocolates, maybe? Are you, ma'am, are you looking at chocolates? I think she found some chocolates because that's the look I would be having on my face if I found chocolate. Love her curly little hair. Love how big it is because, again, for those folks who do get overwhelmed by there being a lot of stuff in the image, it gives you something that is going to be easy for you to color as well. And even, again, if you get this for your kids, something easy for them to color where they're not getting overwhelmed. I love the different types of chocolate that she has in her little bowl here or whatever this is. I'm going to say it's a cake, though, because it looks like a cake. We have this beautiful creature here. I'm not sure what she is because I see the fairy ears, but I'm not seeing any wings. Um, she has on, looks like long nails and she has vampire teeth. So I'm not sure what, I'm not sure what's going on with this young lady, but she's cute though. She's cute. And of course she has on this uh, shoulderless uh, dress. I want to say it's a dress because I can see the dress, the skirt of it. And then the shirt, which doesn't have sleeves. Actually, I lied. It does have sleeves. Okay, so there's the sleeves. Cause I was wondering what this was. This is a sleeve. But it's, it's a cool top, but I'm trying to figure out how it goes together. Anyways, I love the, the neckline of it there. Color me. Use this page to test your colors. Free space. So free space to do color blending or to test the colors of, and swatch the colors that you're going to be using. Love that they added that to the book. And then we have a couple of blank pages here for blending if you want to use for blending colors. And then that's the end of the book. And then on the back here, it tells you that it's featuring 35 original fantasy characters of color by 14 different artists. So that book is, and I have not, I got this book a while ago and never looked through it because I wanted my first impression to be when I did it with you guys. And oh my God, I absolutely love this. So now we're going to pause, get a page printed out, get some markers and get to color. And you ready? Let's go. All right. So this is the image that I chose. And always remember, to protect your workspace. Put something up under your picture if you're going to print it out to make sure that you don't ruin the space that you're working on. And I don't want to ruin my nook. So I'm going to put some papers underneath this one. And we're going to go ahead and color this one. Now, I'm going to do a time lapse since this video is already going to be a little bit longer. I'm going to do a time lapse so you'll get to see me color this. And then when I come back, we can talk and end the video. So I'll see you at the end.
All right, and there you have it. Just a simple coloring that I wanted to do to show you guys one of the images in that book. I absolutely loved coloring this. This was a lot of fun. So if you are interested in knowing what I was using to color with, I was actually, I know a lot of you were probably expecting me to be using Ohuhu's, but I was not. I was actually using my brush tip markers from Arteza. I have all the sets of their brush tip markers. So I decided to pull out a couple of those. So the sets that I use were the skin tone, and the, hold on, let me get this thing out the way here. I used the skin tone set and I used the deco tone set, which is this set here. So I used these two sets to color in this image and I think it turned out great. I did have a couple of mistakes, but I'm not, an, I'm, I'm not a professional adult colorist. I never claim to be. Um, adult coloring doesn't mean that you have to be professional. It just means you have to have fun. So there is my image that I colored out of the book Melanin Magic. If you are interested in Melanin Magic, I will go ahead again and link it down in the, the description box of this video so that you can go check it out over on Amazon. Huge thank you to the ladies that put this book together. I really, really appreciate it. It is an amazing book filled with something for everyone. So please y'all go show y'all love to this artist, these artists and go ahead and check this book out. So with that said, folks, I'm out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Questions, comments, concerns, you already know how we do. Put those down in the comment section below and we'll do our best to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. But with that said, stay crafty, stay caffeinated, stay safe, and always try to be kind to others, be courteous, and be cool. Bye, guys!